Yeah, my, my name is Jakub Szczęśniak. Uh, first of all, uh, because this is a uh, Blender-centered uh, thing, so I would uh, introduce myself uh, from the Blender side uh, first, because um, all, all, all my presentation is about the company Grupa Smacznego and the short I work, uh, uh, I've worked on which I've worked with them, but uh, maybe someone knows from Blender uh, uh, from a Blender Center site uh, about my work or from Blender Conference nominations, I don't know. Uh, so I just remind you, uh, but I won't uh, view them. Just yeah, on the in the end of presentation, there will be links if someone's interested. In because um, uh, up uh, up to uh, till the last year, I was uh, um, purely uh, open source uh, 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 animator. Uh, uh, yeah, but right now, uh, right now I'm, uh, I went on the compromise with uh, reality, and I introduced uh, Adobe uh, After Effects Photoshop to my workflow. But still, uh, that proves uh, of pow uh, of the power of Blender that I still use it all the time, and and even I even introduced uh, commercial institutions to Blender, uh, and that's is, is, uh, is successfully used in the workflow of the company. Uh, 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 getting to the topic. Uh, Grupa Smacznego is a local uh, company from Gdańsk. Uh, it's uh, founded by uh, Łukasz Kasprowicz, uh, Marcin Wasilewski and uh, uh, Robert Jaszczurowski. Mm. Uh, it's a, a company that's uh, purely to the uh, an, that makes purely to the animations and uh, most of all uh, series. Right now, uh, we've made some uh, ads or uh, projects that involve 3D, uh, but uh, from the beginning, it's 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 centered uh, on 2D, uh, and it worked with BBC Worldwide with uh, lots of uh, international clients. Uh, they make uh, animations for children. Uh, they develop scripts. Develop. Uh, uh, bigger projects like uh, f uh, future films, which I will mention in the next slide, but uh, um, they do uh, character development, uh, ads, uh, spots, uh, yeah, short introductions to festivals, stuff like that. Uh, yeah, and they are uh, best known for their uh, series Harry and Toto, Mami Fatal, um, Basia, which will be developed uh, this year, and uh, the new project. Uh, which I'm working on, um, uh, apart working on 3D stuff and animation to Mami Fatal right now, is My Son Strikes, is uh, a project in development, it's a future film, uh, it will be uh, co-produced, so it, 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 but maybe if uh, there will be um, uh, a lot more people that uh, could be interested in working in that company, maybe they, they, they will, so that's my appeal to you all. Uh, that there is work, <laughs> and I'm speaking about this question, that there is no work uh, for animators. There is, and uh, they, uh, lots of companies are looking for uh, uh, experience, or, or, or even they, they want to um, train new people that are interested in that kind of stuff. Yeah. And, and uh, my sons are, are in uh, development, so... Uh, they uh, will be um, informations about uh, them will be published in, in festivals right now. Uh, I don't, there is no uh, information that I could share with you more. But getting uh, oh, yeah, uh, and more uh, about the uh, uh, Grupa Smacznego, uh, uh, to get to know them, you, you probably best to see their reel. It's all of uh, all, uh, all the stuff uh, that's 3D and that uh, reel is um, Blender based. So maybe we will watch it.
Yeah, it's interesting from one point of view to work with them because they are focused on animation purely, not uh, not uh, they don't think like Blender people uh, <laughs> the, the way that I was. Uh, I was thinking uh, previously that they don't focus on they, it's uh, uh, the, the real thing is that they'll get the job done uh, to make a movie not uh, focus uh, on the technical stuff which is important but it, it's a way to do something not the meaning of doing. yeah but uh, I've joined uh, this company because of uh, this project Lost Senses this is a, a short uh, movie that's directed by Marcin Basilewski. Uh, yeah, when basically uh, I was uh, uh, like uh, Marcin said, uh, previous speaker Marcin said that, um, uh, that in Poland there is a lot, a lot of generalists, and basically that's my role in this um, uh, in this project because I've uh, I've introduced Blender and uh, also uh, developed all the um, technical ideas, animated and uh, trained uh, all people that uh, later on in this project helped us and uh, even there's an Arthur Hook that helped uh, from uh, this uh, from Grupa Smacznego over there so uh, yeah <laughs> uh, he, he also was uh, contributing uh, by doing projections uh, yeah basically generalists in, 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 in Polish animation industry are uh, a must because there's no way for specialization right now Probably, but this is a perfect situation to uh, specialize in one thing. Uh, yeah. Uh, the um, story of the um, of the movie uh, is basically uh, in, uh, Martin uh, uh, read uh, a biography of uh, Roland Topor, which is a, a sur um, uh, surrealist. Uh, illustrator, and he came out with this um, grotesque idea of destroying. I, I will not spoil the um, movie, but uh, there is are there are some uh, parts of his aesthetics in this movie. And uh, for, as for the form uh, of the movie, for, uh, a visual um, part, we uh, went uh, out from uh, 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 Giorgio De Chirico. Um, uh, paintings. Uh, he is a, a, a pre precar uh, precursor of su surrealism, uh, and uh, you, you can uh, you can notice the distinctive move, mood uh, in his painting and uh, uh, and the uh, usage of color and uh, light light and shadow contrast and a technique. Also, the technique of the painting. We we try to mimic this uh, way of painting. Because it's uh, you, you can you can divide it to few aspects. Uh, it has a, a color color glaze on the uh, canvas, which is visible, and uh, and um, more broader, uh, thicker uh, paint strokes on the top, which uh, represent uh, light and and the light parts of the painting. And this is basically the more rough. Uh, very rough technique of oil painting yeah. because I, I finished um, uh, painting <laughs> so that's uh, that's very interesting for me and I always uh, think about the constructing the painting you can see from my personal work yeah, <laughs> yeah there, there is a more uh, reference of um, paintings by Giorgio de Chivico. there are some uh, we we use some quotes uh, from his paintings. Uh, there are some architecture uh, parts or, uh, or or some symbolic things that we put in the movie. Yeah, and uh, this is the first very early sketches of uh, this painting. I was thinking uh, uh, these are in fact done in Gimp, but later on I used uh, Photoshop and uh, and uh, all, uh, the background designer used. Sure. Uh, yeah, but, uh, but, uh, but here you can see um, uh, some mimic, mimicking of the painting technique in digital, of this painting technique. Yeah, um, this is another one which I've tested also the um, background um, projection painting method. But I will later show you what I what do I mean. But, uh, yeah, another one, a sketch, and uh, these are. Um, early um, concept of, of a character 
they are they have uh, simple uh, silhouettes and uh, not much detail inside so we also want to uh, uh, show it in, in textures in models and uh, also the rendering compositing type is 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 driven by this thing and uh, some more concepts so more uh, some additional character concepts sketches uh, of uh, and because in the previous version of a uh, script uh, there were simpler uh, there were a lot more c of characters uh, there is always ex uh, expectations to put a lot of stuff and later on you compromise so most of them were deleted out of the movie uh, these are uh, final concepts of, of the uh, character his name is uh, mr parkour which will uh, which i uh, which i explain later why you can even you you can you probably know why <laughs> because he, he will move this way yeah uh, uh, some more uh, close-up sketches and this is a uh, mrs ribbon mm. This is a second. Um, uh, this is a girl girlfriend of Mr. Parkour, basically. Yeah, yeah some uh, sketches uh, of them. Uh, this one, this uh, on the left, in, is in fact uh, a texture of the photo that he, she, she carries with her in the movie. Mm -hmm. This is a sketch of back, uh, character in the context of, of the background. And on the left, the secondary char bird character sketch. Mm, yeah, and, and the storyboard. Mm, this is uh, storyboards. I, I recommend you to use. Um, it's not. It's it's very in, in, uh, very elastic. Very in, uh, it's, a, it's a great tool uh, that Tumbum uh, company. It's not free, but it it proven uh, itself to be very useful. It's Tumbum storyboard. The length doesn't match right now. Uh, uh, Tunbum Storyboard Pro and Tunbum Animator are 2D animation softwares, and uh, uh, and uh, and Storyboard is a software to develop storyboards and animatics. They are not uh, not mm, free, but very mm, useful. You can uh, flexibly. Uh, in very flexible way, uh, rearrange stuff and write down. Um, after uh, this uh, storyboard stage, I, I've painted uh, some uh, color script uh, plates, uh, mood boards, which will be useful in the later uh, steps in the production and post-production because uh, they are reference for uh, background painting, uh, basically, uh, and for, uh, for the mood, for the lightning and stuff like that. And later on in the compositing, so uh, so the whole movie would be uh, planned because it, it was uh, it was said it, it was has been said today very often that planning is very important, and I uh, I, I strongly underline this because we, you cannot do a proper animation without planning on every kind uh, and on every step uh, on character animation on on uh, these pro. Uh, uh, on modeling backgrounds, more modeling characters and rigging characters, you you have to think uh, what would what would you like to do with uh, those characters later. So you have to prepare a plan when are when you are rigging. Yeah. Some more mood boards. They are even on the old story. It's not. And, and there were uh, some tests, uh, animation tests made, and this is very, very rough. Uh, with a proxy rig, just to... Because um, uh, there was a struggle with animation, this uh, studio, there was a struggle to... Because they were uh, uh, used to uh, this, um, what, you say, what you see is what you get mentality uh, that you have in 2D animation. Uh, you, you from the beginning, almost from the beginning, uh, especially in cutout animation, you see uh, your final um, visual effect. 
Uh, but in 3D, it's, it's uh, counterintuitive. It's, you have to you have to prepare a uh, lots of stuff that that's not uh, even uh, close to the final thing. So it's hard to explain to people by words, by tests, uh, which uh, take lots of time. <laughs> on 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 what goal you uh, what what kind of goal you you try to reach. So the best thing is to work with people that that know the process and uh, and, and can uh, think further. Yeah, uh, later uh, th these backgrounds has to had to be done from uh, from uh, by a freelancer uh, mm, uh, uh, because of the lack of people. Uh, Martin Gollet, his name is. Uh, and uh, they uh, were used in two separate uh, ways, uh, which I uh, in, in one way as a design, and uh, and also in, in the projection uh, camera uh, camera projection projection made paintings, uh, uh, which I will show you in the next. They basically look like this. You can see some aspects of uh, the Shiriko paintings in the probably if you remember. Yeah, and we use uh, two techniques for uh, backgrounds. Uh, there uh, was, uh, as I, say, I said, um, camera projection, and I opened Blender. Yeah, and, and also uh, I, the Lost Senses was uh, made in started in uh, Blender 2.62, uh, and <laughs> it was finished in Blender 2.62 because of end guns and lots of stuff that came out uh, in the middle, and also the projects that that uh, that. Uh, uh, that came and uh, stopped the production, uh, so we didn't uh, switch to the new blender. Uh, yeah, and what I'm talking about is camera projection. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 it basically projects uh, uh, the painting that's uh, divided into pieces uh, onto the simplified geometry. It's commonly used in uh, VFX uh, stuff uh, when you just have uh, just want to use a made painting instead of uh, rendering whole uh, um, whole scene. So uh, from the one point of view, it looks uh, okay, but if you look on it from the side. You will see what's the problem. You can it, it it's uh, it's uh, uh, oriented only of uh, on the on uh, to the shot. It's useful in the only inside of the shot, and most of most of the time. Uh, yeah. Okay, for now. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the second uh, method was a uh, 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 traditional modeling of the character and uh, modeling of the of the scene uh, it will take a second to turn on the GSLS preview yeah and it's it was also models model uh, in mind with a shot in mind, but uh, still, mm, it's very slow. Sorry. Yeah, it was uh, hand painted, uh, and also the um, uh, shadows and lighting and all all, that, all of that stuff. Was painted inside of the texture because uh, we didn't. Uh, we went from a uh, uh, non-realistic for uh, non-photorealistic uh, type of a render, so it doesn't matter that the shadows um, were not real time. Uh, it's uh, it was all about uh, looking like it's not really perfect. Yeah. This is a second technique of the background. Yeah, and uh, later on uh, there was time uh, to make uh, models. This is a model uh, of the uh, and also textures uh, of the main character, Mr. Parkour. Uh, as you can see, he has a pure-shaped silhouette, 
and uh, we uh, didn't want to break uh, in the silhouette, so the uh, all, um, details of the uh, cloth uh, were, were painted uh, uh, into the textures uh, uh, the same as in the background. So it's very simplified silhouette, but it still has some uh, detail. This way uh, it looks more, uh, more stylized. Yeah. Um, Mrs. Ribbon, uh, the same approach. This is a picture. Uh, maybe the turntable of the golf. This is a post character. So, looks like this. And the uh, color uh, pass renders were. Uh, um, modified in a compositor and later on uh, composited uh, by After Effects operator inside of the After Effects. But uh, in, in the compositing was divided to two parts. One is uh, one node based in Blender, and so so the um, textures are as, uh, without any shadows, flat. And the uh, bird character. Look like this. And it also has a detail painters painted inside of the texture. Uh, yeah, um, I have a video of the rotating rig, uh, and later I will um, go to Blender to maybe manipulate a little bit with him. But uh, as you can see, uh, it's basically. Uh, as Blender people, you've probably seen some materials about it. So the construction is uh, like uh, like very often uh, divided into two parts. Uh, there are uh, deform uh, bones, uh, which are uh, driven by uh, by the constraints uh, by through the constraints by the control controlling bones. Um, and uh, there are a few uh, s a few things that are in, in that are implemented inside of the rig uh, uh, that make the, uh, let them stretch all the limbs and all the uh, torso and stuff like that. I will show it. This is how the rig or what animator had to work with, uh, and uh, also um, after the training, um, there are there were few people. Uh, animating uh, some shots and uh, that for uh, some other people, uh, so I had to simplify and explain some stuff to them how uh, how it works. I tried to make it as friendly as possible, but I don't know how it. Yeah. So basically, maybe I will turn on all the controls. And that was a, 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 a he has a switch, switching, switched or a cha changeable head. Yeah. Um, uh, basically, uh, yeah, uh, that that was a mistake. This many part thing because uh, the, uh, as you know, uh, these uh, parts are bones, so they are treated like the other bones. Uh, so uh, resetting all the transformation is uh, pain. Uh, so probably best uh, best way uh, is to make uh, uh, these controls as uh, uh, sliders uh, on in the top shelf. But that's that's idea for the next step. Yeah, basically you can uh, take the limbs and stretch them. It allows the character to move uh, in a certain way because he's a he's a parkour. He has a sequence of parkour. Parkour sequence, and he had to be very flexible. So, I'm very nervous. So, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing yeah, right now. Uh, you can pardon the. Cut to the head. Yeah. Okay. 
and the, you can put on the rows to the hand. Uh, that, that's basically you know, how it works. So, <laughs> Uh, further, uh, yeah, the animation processes. I really like the previous uh, speech, uh, speech, and um, I basically want to uh, uh, encourage you to go with uh, uh, Martin's advices, and uh, that's uh, if you uh, very uh, carefully learn this stuff, uh, you will be uh, more useful in the production of shows because you would have the basics. Yeah. And, uh, and our approach to the animation uh, was uh, to uh, go from the animatic, which had basic timing, block out the scene, uh, which you can see, which you will see in, uh, uh, on the right top corner, uh, block out it so you, uh, we, we could edit uh, all the material and uh, uh, compromise uh, director's wishes to add stuff later. Uh, I, um, I introduced this um, blocking technique, so uh, there will be uh, uh, not much uh, uh, work for the animator when, when there are changes in, 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 this, in the script, in the animation and stuff like that. So uh, he would have uh, this block, block type, anim a blocky, blocking type animation. Uh, and uh, you, you treat it like as a few drawings, so it's not uh, not uh, a pain to uh, delay them and start from scratch. Uh, in, um, uh, and that's not the thing when you cleaned up all the animation, made it smooth, and uh, right now you have to, uh, I, you know, for example, uh, instead of walking, you have to r do run, and that's. Uh, Mm, work made for nothing, and you have to start again. So yeah, basically these are uh, compared sh uh, shots uh, compared to uh, com comparison of a uh, few stages, uh, four stages of uh, three stages of animation, basically. Yeah. That workflow uh, has proven to be very useful, so it's uh, right now used in the in the uh, uh, Mami Fatal series or stuff like that. It's nothing fancy. I didn't uh, invent something. It's a just simplified version of the proper workflow. Yeah, and, and basically, I will go through blend file of, of maybe this scene, or you you, you can see on the top that I've started animating uh, the the most simple stuff like spheres first uh, to have the tra trajectory of the bird, and later I will go through this later. Uh, maybe <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, on the last layer, I have the balls. You can see that I've uh, came up with these trajectories, animated the birds first as balls, as a whole object. You can do it with a full rig, but it's um, easier to see. Even uh, even the thing that uh, previous on previous piece was said about walks and. Um, uh, stuff like runs and stuff. You can uh, you can break them down. Uh, it's uh, in, in every aspect of uh, animation. You can break down everything to smaller steps, uh, in, or even drawing and in everything. Uh, you can break it down in small uh, small m m major pieces, like like uh, the hips of the character. The rhythm of the walk is inside of the hips. The legs don't create a walk. The hips and the movement of the torso creates a walk. And uh, as well uh, uh, in this uh, in this um, in this scene, uh, the whole movement is created by a big piece of a bird, not uh, not the details like wings and stuff like that. They add to the animation, but. Yeah.
You, you later on add this, add this details like uh, rotation of the torso, a bird uh, wings, a bird a beak, uh, in this uh, scissors in this uh, in this model. Yeah, and it looks better and better. After you add the details, you only have to stop in some in, oh, in some place because you have to finish. Yeah. This is a different approach to the birth, different type of shot. They look more like F16. And going uh, going back to Mr. Parkour, uh, maybe this is parkour oriented scene. Basically, from not from the beginning, from the and uh, as for the workflow, this pose to pose workflow, uh, animator uh, when it's uh, pose to pose and blocking workflow, uh, animator doesn't have to go through the uh, to the graph editor at the first time. It proves to be very useful uh, later. You can be discouraged by uh, seeing the uh, animated uh, graph editor at the first time, but when you uh, start thinking uh, about poses as drawings, you later on add only the details in graph editor, not uh, the not the, the 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 whole movement. You don't create the whole movement by doing graphs. You, you create poses in R oh, like this one. It's, it's, it's only uh, properly visible from the camera and not uh, you think only from uh, from the direction that camera camera is looking so you create the drawings that from the top to the bottom you see just one drawings poses of the uh, uh, of the armature that contains all the bones but you look at it as a one drawing and later on you polish it you you give the details and you use graph editor and stuff like that. This is maybe more interesting. Character was created uh, outside of the scene. He was uh, important as a library. Also, probably uh, are, you know this work type of workflow is useful uh, because um, character changes through changed throughout the production. Uh, so uh, uh, making changes in every model would be pain. So only sometimes it was different from the light. Uh, light uh, not this one. From the light. Library, like in this shot, he had a different type of mustache. They had to be animated like 2D. So I've added ju just a, a spline a rigged mesh, rigged with spline mesh. <coughs> And getting back to some scenes, uh, this is a, a scene with a more close-up of the place, more acting thing, I don't know. And going further, uh, there, are, there were some scenes that were deleted throughout the action behind don't know if they will play back probably they are not so we have to it's a problem okay quick time they took very uh, this, this was 
previous uh, to the uh, blocking workflow, so they were quite clean in, in the animation, and w it was uh, uh, hard to delay them, so you get the point about the delaying stuff. Uh, yeah, and I have a uh, more fancy breakdown of uh, one shot. It shows how it was uh, the look, how it was de developed. I will stop for a second and look at this. Uh, I, I'll, I'll go to the compositor to show what's, uh, what's about this, but uh, we uh, tried to mimic this uh, uh, this type of painting as in Shiriko, so we've used some normal notes to uh, make masks uh, uh, of the diffuse channel, uh, of, of the diffuse of the objects, so we could mask in the textures inside of the shadows, so yeah, it's it's very simple. To this, uh, this specific scene for a second to just show you some. Oh, oh, back, back. One thing. This is this scene uh, about the uh, about the drawing type of posing. Uh, as you can see, uh, I want to. I want to uh, because in the storyboard uh, his hand was very uh, distorted in front of the camera I, I, I had, to, had to use this ab um, opportunity in that rig made and uh, for example uh, stretched, stretched the uh, limb very, um, uh, very far away so the look uh, comparing to the storyboard as you saw in the movie uh, would, look, would, ma would match basically yeah, because if 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 I use the normal perspective, it would be not as stylized as much as as for the backgrounds. They this is a uh, you, you cannot encounter that kind of perspective probably in in general. You cannot draw it properly, physically properly. Ah, yeah, and, and these are um, um, final renders uh, of the of the movie. How it looks. And uh, unfortunately, uh, the director said that there uh, there are rules on the festivals. Uh, uh, Lost Sense would be um, shown on some festivals and also on NSC in the one. Uh, uh, part of the NSC screenings and also on Sigraf, I was told, uh, but uh, you, uh, you cannot uh, show the full movie, unfortunately, so I also only can um, view the trailer.
Yeah, and that's basically it for my presentation. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Are there any questions? Or? Powiedziałeś, że nie stosowaliście cienie takie sztuczne, rysowane. Tak. A co z cieniem tej postaci, tego pana parkura? On był dynamiczny. Czy tak. używaliście jednak świata? Cień rzucony przez postać był użyty w kompozingu tam, żeby... To było rozbite na dwa kawałki. Był ubrany jeden taki przetworzony pas z backgroundu, złączony z tym takim czarno-białym zwyczajnym pasem cienia rzuconego i z postaci i w to były tam wklejone tekstury. Także w przypadku tak, w przypadku postaci są takie ray tracowe zwyczajne cienie. Tak. A w kompozitingu przetworzony. Widzieliśmy też jakieś kurze rozwijające się wokół nogi, które tam były zrobione. One były w postprodukcji czy jeszcze wcześniej? Bo właśnie w finalnej wersji niestety zmienił zdanie Marcin, żeby zrobić kurze, które są jak gdyby, to są właściwie chyba nawet z tego, video copilot czy coś takiego finalnie, a, a w pierwszym, który był ciekawszym podejściu, który było widać w tym filmiku making offowym, były to animowane poklatkowo w Tunbumie, Tunbum Animate, takie kolorowe dymy i to było w sumie fajniejsze formalnie, nawiązywało do tego obrazu. Jak tak przypatrzeć się temu filmowi, to ma się wrażenie, że Freestyle spóźnił się kilka miesięcy, tak. czy, kilka, czy pół roku. Myślisz, że zmieniłby się dużo workflow? Zmi w zmieniłby filmie? się i, i też właśnie, to, to było właśnie dziwne. Właściwie teraz do tego mami, do Mami Fatal jest parę obiektów, które właśnie muszę zrobić. Pojazdów takich latających i tak dalej, takich śmiesznych. I, i następny, dokładnie dzień po tym, jak, jak, jak się o tym dowiedziałem, bo to musi na, właśnie ma, tam cel shader jest, jest tam outline i tak dalej. Wyszedł blender z tym freestylem i dokładnie następnego dnia zrobiłem próbkę tego i świetnie się tego sprawdzał, ale no w Lost, w lost Senses niestety nie. Taki kompromis. To ja zadam pytanie, czy, czy będzie można go gdzieś obejrzeć w sieci, na przykład jak już obejdzie te festiwale i tak, tak dalej? Tak, no na pewno. O, Ostatnio to... właśnie byliśmy w Krakowie na tym festiwalu filmowym i, i tam był workshop na temat nie, po, nie pokazywać filmów wcześniej, bo jest później bezwartościowy, dlatego się tego trzymają. Już teraz trzeba z rok poczekać. Z rok poczekać taką, takim wrzuceniem go zwyczajnym. No ale warto no, czekać chyba. Ja chciałbym pogratulować, bo to kawałek świetnej animacji. No, tak. <laughs>